When mountaineer Chris Bonington took the flame to the top of Snowdon, it proved it could cope with altitude. But for once, Bonington wasn't the first. I was there first and I may say that the conditions I was in was far more extreme and more adverse than, than Mr Bonington. Um, from what I could see, the, the conditions for Mr Bonington were quite tranquil, whereas we were there and there was 50, 50 mile an hour plus winds that we were exposing ourselves to and the torch. Gary works for TechoSim, the Basildon company that tested the torch to make sure it's British weatherproof. And that meant three days in Germany at BMW's test centre in Munich. We need to operate in minus 5 to plus 40 conditions, uh, wind speeds um, 35 mile an hour constant, 50 mile an hour gusts, uh, snow at very extreme levels, rain at very extreme levels, almost mon monsoon light, and combinations of those, of those extreme conditions. It's gonna rain. The team from TechoSim in Essex went to Greece to oversee the lighting of the flame at Olympia, flying out and back with Messrs Beckham, Boris and Co. It was their very nervous moment of truth. On that day, it rained torrentially, so of course it was the first time seeing the torch in action, actually in the rain. Yeah, we were obviously relatively nervous as to what might happen. We were confident, but there's always that air of uh, what, what could happen. But it was a, a fantastic moment. And that wasn't all. Gary did the ultimate test. At the last minute, someone dropped out, and Gary was asked by the Greeks to carry the torch himself. It was a very, very kind gesture from the Greek relay team who didn't give me any forewarning, gave me five minutes notice, here's the Torchbearer's outfit, you're going to run on our relay, we want you to, which was a lovely gesture. That was a very emotional time for me. I was very tearful, I have to admit, during that period.